Well, hello, folks. Me and Gemma here, back with another another reel review video today. I've got an Ancient Mariner 6000 bait casting reel. Now, I've had this reel since February, and I've used it a bunch. And if you can't tell, it's got skipjack guts and dirt and stuff all over it. I use it quite a bit. And so far, I've had really, really good luck with this reel. I bought it at CatCon in February. And uh, the guy I bought it from, I forget the vendor's name. I think it may have been Muddy River Bait and Tackle. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. But he said that actually an engineer that used to work for Abbey Garcia parted ways with them. They had a falling out or something. And anyway, he went and started this company and started making these. And several people that I watch on YouTube and have made friends with highly suggested them. They said they're just really, really good reels. So I wanted to show y'all a little bit about how it cast and let y'all know what I thought about it. This thing's got a really, really good retrieve rate. I haven't looked it up. I don't know how much it is. I'm going to say it's around probably 23, 24 inches per revolution. It's fast and it's really smooth the handle on it i like it's not as big as a power handle as on some of my reels but i kind of like that it's not bulky it's not got that big old knob on it but i like it pretty good the handle anyway it's got a good clicker on it it's not as loud as some but it's pretty good I mean, it's pretty loud. You can definitely hear it. It's got no clicks on the drag, which isn't a problem. I just want y'all to know that. A lot of new reels do. This one doesn't. It's just got the single spool tensioner. It's got the old thumb click, just like an old Garcia. That was... I don't know, 65, 70 yards. I'm running 40 pound line on it. This is 40 pound whisker seeker. And right now I just got a four ounce uh, bank sinker on it. But I just wanted to show y'all a little bit about it. If y'all was thinking about getting a new reel and maybe just looking at them, I know there's not too many videos out about them yet. I'm sure there will be. So I just decided I'd do one and let y'all know what I thought about it. It's all metal. Everything on it is pretty sturdy built. I mean, it seems really solid. Um, I haven't took it apart and I haven't looked it up. I don't know if it's all metal gears and everything. I'm assuming it is. I'm gonna back that spool tension off just a little. See if I can get a little more distance and see if I can get a backlash for you. Nope. Not that time. But anyway, I really like this reel. I will probably end up getting another one. I'll be honest with you, the reason I bought it, the, the main reason I bought it was it matches this rod great. I bought two of these uh, Muddy River Blue Cat rods, which I'm also gonna do kind of another video on here pretty soon. But anyway, I just seen that reel and was like, man, that matches perfect. It looks really good on there. But after getting it and actually using it and catching a few fish with it, Man, I really like this reel, and I'll probably end up buying a couple more of them. I want to say, I forget what I paid for it. It was kind of a special deal at CatCon. But looking online, I think they're about 85 bucks new. And that's not bad. It holds plenty of line. I mean, it's a 6000 series. It holds a lot of line. It's heavy built, smooth, cast good. Oh yeah, that one got out. Dang, that one went out in the wheat field. It's bad when you're getting snagged out in the yard and even fishing. But anywho, I just wanted to do a quick little video on this and kind of show y'all how it cast and tell you what I thought about it. Um, it's only been a few months, but man, I fish probably, depending on the weather and stuff, four or five times a week. 
and I use it a lot. You can tell it's, I ain't nice to it, and it's holding up and doing everything I need it to do. I really like it. Wow. But anyway, there y'all go. There's your review on the, the Ancient Mariner 6000 bait cast and reel. If you're in the market for one, I'd say it'd be a it'd be a good one for you. All right, guys, I'm gonna go get this unsnagged out of the wheat. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And God bless.